Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Tian Yu from Terry Chu Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. The question says, It is known that there is an unknown number x, and x is between 0 and 1. y is another unknown number, y is going to be equal to x to the power of x, and finally, one last unknown number z is going to be equal to x to the power of y. The question then asks you to arrange these three numbers in increasing order. So let's just list them out. I have three numbers, x, y, and z. But before we continue this question, let's understand some things about powers first. Let's look at some familiar examples. I'm going to have 2. I'm going to have x equal to 2. So, 2 squared, that's going to be 4. While 2 to the power of 0 0.5, that's going to be equals to 1.4 something. So, this is the general principle in which I can derive. If x is more than 1, bigger power gives me bigger number or bigger answer. Bigger answer. So here's where things get interesting. Let's now say x is equal to 0 0.5. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have 0 0.5 square, and I'm going to have 0 0.5 to the power of 0 0.5. I'm going to work both of these out for you as well. 0 0.5 square is actually equal to 0 0.25, while 0 0.5 to the power of 0 0.5 is going to be equal to 0 0.7 something. So what Conclusion can we derive from this example? If x is between 0 and 1, a smaller power will give me a bigger answer. So, let's look at the three scenarios now. I have x, I have y, which is equal to x to the power of x, and I have z, which is x to the power of y. Since I know that x is between 0 and 1, I know that when I have a smaller power, I'm going to have a bigger answer. For the simplicity of this question, let's just say x is equal to 0 0.5. But you'll realize that regardless of what number x is, this example is going to hold true. So 0 0.5 is going to be smaller than 0 0.5 to the power of 0 0.5, right? As we saw earlier, this right here is x, this right here is y. And we also worked out that 0 0.5 to the power of 0 0.5, y, is equal to 0 0.7 something. So let's just call it 0 0.7. So we already know for sure that x is less than y. Now the question is, is y or z bigger? So let's do a comparison. y is going to be equal to 0 0.5 to the power of 0 0.5, while z is going to be 0 0.5 to the power of, let's just say, 0 0.7. If we look back at our earlier definition, it says a smaller power will give a bigger answer. So let's look. Who has a smaller power? Does y or z have a smaller power? And from what we've worked out, we know that y has a smaller power. Smaller power gives bigger answer, which means y will be larger than z. y has to be bigger than z. So if we arrange everything in order, my answer is going to be x being the smallest, followed by z being the middle one, followed by y being the largest. We have now completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.